friends, and welcome back to another episode of Last Minute Laura. I'm Laura, and today I am going to get started on a new project that is inspired by my neighborhood and, I don't know, kind of a city sort of horizon vibe. So basically, when I look out my window in the morning and sometimes even in the evening, I get a really similar picture to this in the winter time. So I get a really dark sky with a band of open colors, some brightness near my horizon, and then it's a dark horizon. So I'm going to do that for this project, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first things first, for this project, I am using Briggs & Little wool. I'm using their Regal wool in several colors. First, for the bottom band, I'm going to be using black. Then. For the middle section, I'm going to be using Midnight Blue. I'm then going to be using some yellow, some Horizon Blue, and some Copper. And then for that upper sky area, I'm going to be using Navy Blue. I'm also going to be using a 4mm hook. I'm using an aluminum one today. At the end, to weave in our ends and sew the project together, we're also going to need a yarn needle and a measuring tape can be helpful as well um, just as an extra tool for keeping track of the size and stitches and whatnot. To begin, I'm going to be using the black yarn. I'm making a sweater that's going to fit Alex and I, so it's going to be somewhere between, I would say, a men's medium and large, but it's an easily adjustable pattern just by manipulating the number of stitches that you do. This is just for like the general shape, you can use my stitch count if you like. So the first step is to chain 79. After that, double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, and then double crochet all the way across. At the end of that row, chain one and turn. Okay, so for row number two, we're gonna front post double crochet into the first stitch and then we're going to back post double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to do front post double crochet back post double crochet all the way across on this row at the end of the row we're going to chain one and turn if you don't know what a front post double crochet is or what a back post double crochet is i will link a tutorial video in the description box down below um, and in the information card at the top of the screen now. Okay, so for row number three, we're gonna back post double crochet into the first stitch and then front post double crochet into the next stitch and then back post again and then front post again. We're gonna repeat that all the way across. So this is exactly the opposite of what we did for that first um, front post double crochet row, uh, but it's the same two stitches. If you don't understand what I mean, I'm going to link a video where I go a little bit more in depth on the, um, the rib stitch in one of my pullover tutorials. But I'm just going to do this all the way across. And then I'm actually going to repeat the last two rows one more time. So for row number four, I'm going to repeat row number two. And for row number five, I'm going to repeat row number three. Right now I'm on row number three where I'm starting on the back post. This design is totally modifiable though. If you don't want your rib stitch to be super big, you could stop after the third row. You could stop after the fifth row or the seventh row. Just stop at an even number um, and switch stitches on the same side that the tail end of your yarn from your chain, um, from your original chain is on. Okay, so I made it to the end of my ribbed stitches. I finished the fifth row in my front post and back post to double crochet um, rib stitch. And now I'm going to change yarn colors. So I'm going to switch into Midnight Blue. Okay, so at this point I'm going to restart my count. I did one rows one through five to do that rib stitch. I'm gonna start again at row number one for this um, new area because from here on out we're going to be working in half double crochets so it's just kind of like one section. So for this first row we're just going to half double crochet in each stitch across. Um, I'm going through 
the entire stitch though. So I'm going yeah. I'm going underneath the entire stitch rather than through just the two loops on top of the stitch. I'm sticking my hook all the way underneath the entire stitch. I just like the way that this makes the sweater look in the end. I don't know if it's uh, really beneficial in any way. I just kind of like the look that it gives and the way that it helps the rib stitch transition into the body color of the sweater. So I'm just going to do one row of half double crochet all the way across for this first row. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. Okay, so now we're on row two of the body portion. So for this second row, it's going to be an increase row. What that means is we're going to put two half double crochets in the first stitch of the row and two half double cro crochet stitches in the last stitch of the row. Otherwise, we're just going to do half double crochet stitches all the way across. At the end of this row, when you complete the last two half double crochets in that last stitch, chain one and turn it around. Okay, so now we're on the third row, um, and this one is just a regular row, so no increase, just half double crochet all the way across. At the end of this row, chain one and turn it around. Okay, so now I'm on row number four of this body section. I'm gonna do two half double crochets in the first stitch and two half double crochets in the last stitch. Otherwise, I'm just gonna half double crochet all the way across. So this is one of the increase rows. Okay, so now I'm on row number five. And from row number five to row number 20, I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing, just a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So from row number five to row 20, one half double crochet in each stitch across. At the end of each row, chain one and turn. When you get to the end of the 20 rows, I'm going to be doing a color change into that yellow color. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I've worked on this sweater. I'm picking back up on it and I'm getting into the next color section. So I'm switching from the midnight blue now. I'm going to be switching into the yellow WO um, and I'm on row 21. So I'm still going to be working in half double crochets for the entire yellow section, um, which is going to be from row 21 through 28. So row 21, row 22, row 23, row 24, row 25, row 26, row 27, and row 28 are all going to be done straight half double crochet back and forth in the yellow W. Of course, if you're doing um, other colors, whatever colors you want to be doing, um, change colors whenever you want to, absolutely. Just if you're trying to copy mine, or if you're keeping track of how many rows you need, that's what I'm gonna be doing. After completing the eight rows in the yellow WO, I'm going to do the next two rows in horizon blue. So that's row 29 and 30. I'm going to complete half double crochets across. At the end of each row, I'm chain one and turning, but I'm going to do the horizon blue next. After I finish with the horizon blue, I'm going to swap into the copper, and I'm going to do this for the next four rows. So for rows 31 to 34, I'm going to half double crochet across in copper. For row 35 and 36, I'm going to half double crochet across again in the yellow WO. For row 37 to 42, I'm going to half double crochet across again in the copper. After the copper, I'm going to transition into the horizon blue again. I'm going to do horizon blue for rows 43 through 46, still with half double crochets across. And the last color transition, finally, the last two rows of this 
body rectangle portion, row 47 and row 48, I'm going to half double crochet across in navy blue. Okay, so now we're working in the navy blue and it's time to transition into the arm hole chest shape. So for that, we're going to slip stitch into the first 12 stitches and then I'm gonna chain one. After that, I'm going to half double crochet across the row in the navy blue, but I'm going to leave the last 11 stitches unworked. That slip stitch into the 12 made 12 slip stitches, right? 12 skipped stitches, but then we chain one, which makes that 12th stitch represent a half double crochet. So that means we only have to leave the last 11 stitches unworked to make it symmetrical. If you want to customize this part of the design, you can bring that slip stitches in 15 stitches or 17 stitches, depending on how far you want the sleeve to come into the chest shape. You don't even have to make this sleeve shaping at all. You can leave it a straight rectangle if you don't want to do any of the shaping. Your garment is still going to work out. It'll just change the final drape of it in the end. So definitely try some stuff out. Do, make little modifications. You'll find that you kind of find a design that works best for you in the end. Okay, so then for rows 50 through 64, we're going to be half double crochet across, chain one at the end of each row, and turn. It's just going to be in the navy blue for these rows. So no big issues, no transitions, just half double crochet across, back and forth, back and forth for the next rows from row 50 through 64. Okay, so I made it to row 64, and now I am going to work on the shoulder shaping. So this is going to be the portion where, um, where there's kind of that neck scoop. So I'm going to start, I'm still using the navy blue, I'm going to start with 19 half double crochets. After I do those 19 stitches, I'm just going to turn. So there's no chain one after that uh, 19 stitches. Now we're on row 66. We're going to skip that first stitch and we're going to half double crochet across. So we're not going to do anything in that first stitch. We're just going to start with a half double crochet in the second stitch and then just half double crochet across. At the end of this row, which is now row 66, we're going to chain one and turn. Okay, so now we're on row 67. In this row, we're going to half double crochet into the first 16 stitches, and then we're going to turn around. Okay, so now we're on row 68. We're going to skip that first stitch, and we're going to half double crochet across into all of the other stitches in the row. At the end of this row, we're going to chain one and turn. All right, so now we're on row number 69. We're going to half double crochet into the first 14 stitches, and then we're gonna turn around. Okay, so now we're on row 70. We're gonna skip the first stitch, and we're gonna half double crochet across in all of the other stitches. At the end of this one, we're going to chain one and turn. Okay, so now we're on row 71. We're gonna half double crochet into the first 12 stitches, and then we're gonna chain one and turn. And for row 72, we're going to just half double crochet across, and that's it for this side of the shoulder shaping. So just half double crochet into the first 12, chain one and turn, half double crochet back the other way, and then you're done. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the exact same thing onto the other side. But we can't just start at the um, outer edge and completely copy this side. When we do that, the, the stripes don't line up where the stitches are being grabbed. It doesn't look totally perfect if we start it from the outer corner on the second shoulder. So what I like to do is just secure my yarn from the inner side. But first we have to count to make sure we did 19 stitches. So one, 19, perfect. So what we're gonna do is count 19 from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighteen, nineteen, 18, 19. And this is where we're going to secure the yarn for the opposite shoulder. 
I'm just gonna do that by looping it over and then chaining one and that's gonna represent um, one half double crochet and then I'm going to half double crochet all the way across so that'll be two three four for that next row we're going to half double crochet into the first 17 stitches and then we're gonna turn around I know for the other side it was 16 stitches um, but we're kind of mirroring the other side but the rows are off does that make sense we're starting in a different way it'll all work out in the end just trust me so we're gonna um, half double crochet into the first 17 and then we're gonna just turn around we're gonna skip that first stitch and then we're gonna half double crochet all the way across and at the end of this row we're gonna chain one and turn okay so now for this row we're going to half double crochet into the first 15 stitches and then we're gonna turn around Okay, so I'm just folding it over to show you at this point that even though we've done a different number of stitches slightly, we're one more on this side just because we're working in an opposite way um, than we did for the other side uh, in regards to the reduction rows. Um, but you can see when I fold it over, it actually works out in the end and the um, both sleeves or both shoulder shaping sides are going to be exactly the same so nothing to worry about there um, now I am finished that row we're going to not chain any we're just going to turn around skip that first stitch and then half double crochet in every stitch across other than that and at the end of this one we're going to chain one and turn again okay so now for this one we're going to half double crochet into the first 13 stitches after that we're going to turn around Okay, now we're going to skip that first stitch again and then half double crochet in every stitch across. And this is where the magic is happening. This is where our 12 stitches ends up so that it ends up exactly identical to the other side. So as you might have guessed, the next row is going to be a chain one and turn at the end of this row. And then we're going to half double crochet into the first 12 stitches and that's going to be it we're going to secure off at that point okay so and that is it for the front bodice piece bodice the front bodice the front yeah the front body piece so that is the front that's going to be our scooped neck we're going to do some circle rows around uh, once we've sewn together the front and the back, but next we are going to move on to the back piece I'm doing the exact same Pattern as this uh, for my back piece I've actually already made it um, To the same point that I made the front piece I just didn't weave the ends in as well on this one So the back piece is finished up to the point where the neck scoop begins So I'm going to begin it from there for the back piece. So Let's do it Okay, so now I'm on the back side. Um, at this point I've got the same number of rows as I did when I was getting to the shoulder shaping. So I have 64 rows at this point. I'm going to do an additional four rows. So I'm going to do 65, 66, 67, and 68 um, the exact same way, just half double crocheting all the way across. And this is just going to bring up the back in our um, pullover a little bit. You know what, actually I'm gonna do six rows, not four rows, I'm gonna do six more rows um, to bring up that back to the height that I actually want it to be at. Okay, so I did those extra six rows for the back. Um, so it's the exact same as the front, plus six more rows of the half double crochet. So now we have four rows left in order to make it as tall as the front piece. So what I'm going to do for the first row um, of the shoulder shaping, I'm going to half double crochet into the first 14 stitches, and then I'm going to turn around. Okay, so for this next row, I'm going to skip that first stitch and I'm going to half double crochet into the next stitch and then half double crochet across. At the end of this row, I'm going to chain one and turn around. 
Okay, so next we are going to half double crochet into the first 12 stitches, and then we're going to chain one and turn. Okay, so this is our last row now, and we're just going to half double crochet in each stitch across. There's going to be 12 stitches here. After this, we're just going to secure off our yarn and weave in the end. Okay, so now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I've counted 14 stitches in, and I'm going to secure my yarn on by looping it underneath one of the stitches and then doing a chain one. Now, I'm going to half double crochet in every other stitch across. That chain one is going to act as a half double crochet in our next row. Okay, for the next row we're going to half double crochet into the first 12 stitches. Then we're going to chain one and turn it around. Now we're going to do two more rows where we just half double crochet in each stitch across, so that's going to be 12 stitches for two more rows. And then we're going to tie it off or secure off the yarn and weave in the end. All right. And that is it for the back. So you can see this is a way shallower neckline. It still ends up at 12 stitches for both shoulders, which means it will match up with that front piece. But we're going to have a much shallower scoop, which means that'll sit on the neck across the shoulders. And then that scoop that we have from the front piece will um, sit down like a crew neck should. So. That is all I'm going to be able to get done for today because I am losing sunlight, so I will come back tomorrow, hopefully the sun will be out, and I will finish the sleeve. So what I'm going to do for tonight is block these uh, front and back pieces since they are both done. I'm going to block the front and back, and then I will come back to finish the sleeve. <laughs>